today I'm going to show you guys what I do on a daily basis as a software engineer that's working remotely in California. I'm going to try something new and show this in a more point of view style and showcase what I'm going to do um, while I'm working on and just the applications that I use as well. For those who are trying to become a software engineer or are interested in what a software engineer does on a day-to-day -day basis, I feel like my situation is unique because I work remotely. You know, as a software engineer, the industry is huge and it can vary person by person. And so this is just my life as a software engineer that's working remotely in California. And that could be different from another person who is also working remotely in California. But yeah, I have a GoPro attached to me. And so um, yeah, let's get started. So I usually start my day off with some tea. I don't drink any caffeinated teas early in the morning. Um, I drink either like a ginger lemon tea or like a chamomile. I think that's how it said, chamomile, I don't know. But um, that's kind of what I drink it early in the morning um, before I start working um, or either, you know, in the first hour. Once it's around like 9.30 to 10, that's when I start actually drinking some caffeinated drinks, ranging from, you know, coffee to black tea. But yeah, this is what I drink early in the morning. So Basically, I'm working on a data table, and a data table is essentially a table that looks something like this, where we have columns and we have rows, um, kind of like an Excel sheet. And then you can select uh, rows here. You have information like website, phone number, balance, dates. And essentially to create a data table, you just need to import the lightning data table, have some key fields, some data and some columns, and that's basically it. Here's a example of how it's created. Here's the JS file, HTML file. And yeah, it's simple as that. You know, you can see it's, you know, maybe 40 to 50 lines of code to generate this. And it's pretty simple, uh, nothing much to it. Um, but my use case is a little bit more complex, but with programming, you know, everything is built on top of each other. And so you build, you know, piece by piece. Yeah, and this is what I'll be doing most of today. So it's around 9.45, I'm gonna get a caffeinated drink now. Um, that's around the time that I get a caffeinated drink um, to you know, get some energy between 9.45 and lunch, so yep. Okay, to be honest, I didn't get much coding done this afternoon. I basically looked at the code and was trying to get all the information I can and what I need to accomplish 
um, the feature that I'm building. The hardest part, what I realized in coding is that it's not actually the code, it's it's more of like the planning of what you're gonna make and having all the information that you need. And so once you have your requirements, all the inf information you need, you can just be heads down and really build that out. But obviously when, when working in a large code base, you kind of have to work around what's already existing or um, enhance it or refactor and things like that. And so that can be a headache by itself and cause some more um, blockers and more time commitment to really make sure that you're not regressing anything or making sure that you know things work just as normally along with your enhancements. Um, yeah most of my time was just trying to look at what was existing and see how I can implement my feature on top of it um, whether that's refactoring code, reusing some methods, and getting all the things I need in order to accomplish um, the feature that I'm building. And so even though I just sat down for, you know, two hours just looking at, you know, what I needed, I got everything that I needed um, and I just need to write the code. So before I start writing code, I'm just going to take a walk outside and get some fresh air. Um, it's kind of hot outside, but um, it'll be a good break and uh, just a good, you know, buffer between now and, you know, writing the actual code um, after gathering all the requirements. And so, yep, let's get to it. almost five um, that wraps up my day today was pretty productive I um, got a lot done for my feature um, there's a few questions I had uh, about my approach and um, that I'll follow up with other team members tomorrow um, did some code review you know made some comments I think code review is something that you should do almost every day especially if your team is pushing out like a lot of code or um, people 
if you have some downtime, you, it only really takes like 10 to 20 minutes to do a code review. Yeah, that was basically my entire day today. Um, nothing really outstanding. Sat a lot today. <laughs> we'll use the rest of the day to really, you know, just walk around and do some, some movements. Um, and this is typically what a day looks like as a, you know, remote software engineer for me at least really just working on my desk or on the couch here and uh you know being heads down and then um when it gets to that time just really having time to spend on myself so yeah thanks for tuning in